kids get to popcorn now. Let me tell you the story of the space viking, Thor Odinson. He was no ordinary man. He was a god. I think a lot, a lot of things, you know. I think where we started from the first film to now, there's been many versions of the character, and so I've always hoped, and I think there is um, something unique about each time we see him in a film, he, he has changed, and there is a, um, something sort of unexpected with to the character. I definitely think from Ragnarok onwards, the sense of humor made it all the more relatable, and, and, and there was a sense of, um, a greater sense of fun and enjoyment there to be had. I think the more vulnerable he became too over times and the more, you know, complex as far as he was susceptible to, you know, emotional trauma or emotional sort of complications and his mental fitness wasn't always, you know, at a 10. I think people kind of appreciated that. And, but I really, you know, thanks to sort of the Taika Waititi and, and what we did with Ragnarok, that kind of set the stage for, um, I think they're the sort of the most enjoyable version of the character that, 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 that people have seemed to respond to. We know each other. He's a friend from work. Well, it was kind of, you know, the fact that in the second film, I think when Jane Foster and Thor parted, it was left pretty open-ended and we had a lot of, a lot of room now to sort of create whatever we wanted to and, and, and between the two characters and um, and to you know to, to again sort of have all these unanswered questions and and for him to be on this journey of self-discovery trying to figure out who he was and all of a sudden see someone you know his ex-girlfriend dressed the same as him or similar um, and being able to sort of wield uh, Mjolnir was was <laughs> certainly a you know took a moment of pause and, and <laughs> shaking of his sort of uh, you know, a belief system or understanding of <laughs> how the world operated. Um, so, it, it um, yeah, it, it's a, it's a it's a constant sort of uh, exploration, I guess, in that sense. So that's the ex-girlfriend, is it? The old ex-girlfriend, Judy Foster. Jane Foster, the one that got away. The one that got away. That means escaped. Yeah, yeah. Well, I think so, so much of the change of who Thor was and any character is a lot to do with the people he's interacting with. And, um, and so to interact again with Jane Foster while he was in a different place, but also she's in a very different place too, we made it so much fun, you know? Um, and she, you know, I started this journey with her, with Natalie Portman 10 years ago. Um, so to sort of reunite this many years later was, was, you know, just really exciting. Then when we had the prospect of doing this film in front of us, we were both talking about it a lot prior to shooting and, and, and you know, throwing around ideas of how we'd interact or how the characters would interact and how it would be familiar, but also different to what we'd seen before. Let's bring the rainbow. Bring the rainbow, was that a catchphrase or something? Everything you'd imagine he'd bring to it, nuance and, and complexity and, and truth, levity. Um, you know, he, he's one of my favorite actors working and, uh, and I was so excited that he, you know, agreed to jump on board here. Um, and, and what he's done is, is definitely one of my favorite villains in, in the Marvel Universe. He, he's managed to have someone who's hugely intimidating and, and, and destructive, but the right amount of, of heart and truth there and, and relatable pain that we can sort of, um, you know, attune to or understand ourselves. And so it makes it all the more complex when you're trying to figure out, you know, what everyone's um, motivations are and who you believe or trust and so on. All gods will die. <laughs> no, not necessary. Not, there shall be no knifing one another. Everybody knows who's in charge. I think there was a, um, a better acceptance of who he was by the end of Endgame, but there was a lot of unanswered questions and still a lot of sort of complications up, upstairs for him. Um, so this film was definitely a sort of a rebuilding of who he was and, and that was 
a huge amount of fun to explore that. You know, we leave the film with the Guardians and we pick up with them here as well. Um, and, uh, you know, and we had all the freedom to sort of take it in whatever direction we wanted to, you know. Let's see who you are. I take off your disguise. And flick! Oh! You flick too hard, damn it! 